Hey everyone, okay, so today is a huge makeup haul. Oof. Let's make a start. Okay, so let's start with this one because this is a lovely one. This is Laura Mercier, the perfect cream multitasking moisturizer. It's so nice under your foundation, under your base, under your concealer, under the eyes. It's incredibly comforting and just gives a really nice prep for canvas. Expensive, but nice. Different versions of pressed powder here by Sizzly. And these are just lovely. This one is in shade four, which is bronze. And they're so beautiful and incredibly refined as well. Let me show you shade two, which is lighter, really lovely, incredibly finely milled and just, you know, just a little bit special. This is an old product and I keep it, but I dislike the company, unfortunately. It is the um, Universal Powder Natural Finish Loose Powder by Chanel. It's a really lovely powder. I just, I, I don't buy anything from Chanel. I don't like the company personally myself. I had a horrible, horrible time with them about a decade ago where I was summoned to head office. Um, it was just a horrible time. So I don't purchase from them. Pixie by Petra. This is the eyeshadow palette and it's actually really quite lovely. It's very, very soft, um, but heavily pigmented products in terms of the soft, creamy texture. They've also got this really pretty bronzer, highlighter, blusher combination. Really, really nice products. A little bit on the cheap side in terms of, there's a little bit drugstore feel about them, but they do work beautiful. Beautiful brush here from um, Beautylish, and I believe it is uh, Hakahodo, and it is stunning. It is absolutely beautiful. Nowhere near as good as mine, but it's still absolutely incredible, and it is so pretty and so soft. It's lovely, very lovely. My brushes, Sonia's brushes, that's it. Okay, so <clears throat> some Viterry products here. Now, this is a load of who shot John, but it's still actually a really nice product. It's the Rose Petal Toner. And of course it's filled with rose petals. It looks incredibly beautiful. Of course the rose petals do absolutely sweet FA, but it's very pretty. Clients love it. And that's why I keep repurchasing it. Um, also from By Terry is an excellent makeup remover and micellar water. So this is what I do, so I'm a bit naughty. So I love the oil, uh, the um, makeup remover. So I repurchase that. I really like the packaging to the micellar water, but I just, um, once it's finished, I just decant other stuff into it. Okay, um, Patrick Tarr, this is the um, She's Thirsty, the Dewy, oh, She's Thirsty, uh, Dewy Milk Mist, and it's really lovely, major glow. It's a really, really nice product. It does give a glow to the skin. It's very pretty. It has a uh, fragrance to it, which is relatively subtle. It doesn't irritate me, but I wouldn't personally want it all over my face. But it is a really, really lovely product and does give a really beautiful glow. I quite, I very much enjoy Patrick Tarr's products. I think they're really nice. Um, okay, so the original and still the best, Bare Minerals Foundation. I've got nothing on my skin here today, but this is what I would normally wear for filming. It, I've been using this 20 years, 20 years. I probably should be an ambassador, but I'm not. Okay, so uh, Givenchy, let's talk some Givenchy products. Look at this eyeshadow palette. It is fan, <laughs> that is such a pretty eyeshadow palette. It's so lovely. There's another one here. Look at this, this is one of my favorite colors. I got two of these just in case. Look at that, that's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I ordered those from Beautylish, so, but you can get them here in the UK. I just, you know, what can I say? I like Beautylish. Uh, oh, Givenchy powders as well are excellent. They're these quads here with four containers of different color powders. And you open them up and mix to your heart's content. Basically gives a universal effect, but the, the quality is, is really quite good. I've got very itchy nose. Honest Beauty, this is the mascara, and I really like this. I think it's very, very good for a mascara. I'm not a massive, I'm not particularly up to date on um, Honest Beauty. You got a primer in the other end as well, but it's really quite lovely. Uh, a really good mascara, this is the NARS one, and this is Uncensored Black. Great packaging, by the way. This is brilliant. Oh, come on, you fool. And it's just, this is a great wand. It's a great, great wand. Oh, for God's sake. 
this eye focusing thing, you know, focuses on me but doesn't focus on the products. Shameful. Uh, so Smashbox, this is a um, Smashbox light to medium halo perfecting powder. Really good product. You, it grinds up as it, you sort of open it and it grinds up. So it's a loose, a pressed powder that turns into a loose one, but I've got a couple of these. It's really, really good. Uh, this is another NARS product here. This is great. Look at this eyeshadow palette. It's lovely. Not used it yet, so I can't tell you about pigment, but I've used so many of theirs that I'm very, very hopeful this will be extraordinary. This is Extreme Effects eyeshadow palette. Uh, 1.4 grams times 12. That's a lot of product. Good for you, NARS. Good for you. Um, another palette here by... Urban Decay called Stoned Vibes. I've not tried it yet. Let me know what you think of this, please. Very pretty, mind. What do you think? Hit, miss, let me know. Um, so I just got this. Not even, I've not tried these, but I'm gonna tell you about them. Um, these are the new Huda palettes. So they're still in their box. What do you think? Any good? Not actually tried them, but I'd like to know your thoughts on them. I like Huda products. I think they're quite nice. Another mascara here. This is, I've got so many mascaras. Who's this by? Oh, it's by Givenchy again. Yay. Look at that wand. Look at that wand. That is a beaut. Great product. Great product. Expensive, but very good. Uh, oh, so just got these. Again, not tried them. This is Natasha Denona, and this is the liquid eyeshadows. What do you think? Seen lots of reviews on these. They look so pretty. What's that noise? It's the fan. Um, really like them. So, oh, these are so pretty. Uh, by Terry, these are their um, eye crayons, you know, like the cream shadows. Um, let me just swatch a couple on the back of my hand. They're lovely. Really, really long wearing as well. They're, they're incredibly pretty. Is that even, is that, was that worth it? No, of course it wasn't. Really pretty products um, and just so pretty and lovely on the skin. I've got another product here from Smashbox called Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer. It looks a little bit like this because that's what it is. I actually found it to be very, very nice. Not as good as Laura Mercier's one by far, but still quite wonderful. I'm gonna just give one more shout out um, to, oh, Dose of Colors. Jeez, honestly. Dose of Colors eyeshadow palettes are excellent. They're very, very good. I love them. I've got a lot of these. So let's talk about some of my products. Let's talk about my glosses and the lipsticks. So here's a selection of my glosses. I've actually got three. Uh, I've got seven glosses. This is just a selection of them. And the Luxury Lipstick, which is just, it is so pretty. These are sold on Beautylish. They ship worldwide. And it is beautiful luxury products. I promise you, I spent a long time with these. It's been it's been the most awful year. The last 18 months have been just horrific. And I'll talk to you about it another time. Okay, no point getting upset now. Um, my eyeshadow palette, let me grab it. Imperial Topaz, your everyday perfect palette. Normal eye, subtle eye, smoky eye, dramatic eye, all with this one single palette. I love it. Very dirty mirror here, come on. Beautiful, it is so good. You get a lot of product, 16.2 grams of product. This is your universal palette. I love it, I truly do, because obviously I created it. Um, RMS Beauty, I've just got their Living Glow face and body powder, so I've not had a chance to try it yet. Um, very much like RMS Beauty, I think they've done some wonderful products. I also got some of their deeper eyeshadow, uh, their deeper foundations here. This one is 122, let me just show you on the back of my hand. I like their products, I think they're really good. I think you get absolutely nothing for your money, but they are really good. So that's one, one, two. Let me just swatch another one for you. Uh, where are they? Come on, naughty things. And I've also, I bought another one called one, one, one. <laughs> I do like that, I much prefer these kind of names than, you know, something else. So they're lovely, great for dark skin tones, great for contouring and highlighting. Um, very good products. Very good products, very, very good. Okay, um, so I just got this. I've had a play with it, but I put it back in its packaging because I just wanted to kind of show you. Um, here it is, it's called For Men, and it is by Benny Hancock, and here it is. It's a very big box, 
and this is filled with products for men for your face. So men's makeup. You've got corrector pen, lip balm, moisturizer with an SPF, a bronzer, buffing brush, a beard definer, and a brow definer. And here it is. Now, I wasn't sure what to make of these products, but I've had a really good play with them, and they're actually pretty good. Um, <clears throat> so you've got, you've got this kind of black, relatively masculine packaging, and this is a kind of cream to powder bronzer, which is here, hello, and works really, really well. I think that if you, you're looking, and they have a, like a virtual trial mirror so you can pick your skin tone, so I would be light, obviously. Um, let me show the corrector pen. So I bought, I bought several of these actually in different colors. Um, your standard click in kind of pen where you click it in and apply it. This one, however, is really emollient. It, I think it has like some form of oil in it. I don't know if it's coconut oil or something else, but it's very emollient and very sheer. Therefore, it's, it's relatively undetectable on the skin for men. Um, which I really like. They also do a foundation and everything else. So I'm going to take some pictures for Instagram because I really think they've done quite a lovely job here. So Laura Mercy have just done a new powder. This is Translucent Honey, part of their Translucent range. Their Translucent powder is fabulous. It's fantastic. And this is the Honey Shade, which is this golden yellow color. And for deeper skin tones, you'll find this very, very brightening to the skin. They actually need to they don't need to. I would actually like to see um, if, they're, if they're going down the route, because the translucent powder can really be used on almost every skin tone because it truly is nothing. It's like the no color powder by RCMA. But for deeper skin tones, burnt orange works great. I kind of, I truly like a burnt orange. It's very brightening on deeper skin tones and very, very flattering. Um, I'm just gonna show you this one again because I just love it so much. This is the Infinity Lighting Powder by Hourglass. I mentioned it before, but I really like these. I think they're really, really subtle and very, very lovely. Is there anything else I've missed? There may be. Oh, another one from Hourglass is the Soft Focus Setting Spray. Come possibly the best spray of them all. And I don't mean the product inside, which is really good, but the actual pump, it is truly lovely it's so nice so that's great oh i'll show you a really good product for your hair this is um i can't even see it davines i believe and it is a, a sea salt spray it's very very good it, i find it really good for my hair really like it i also like the fragrance of it I mean, there's an awful product as well i actually got my pants on so i'm not gonna I'm not going to show you too much there by getting up. Um, so this is by Kevin Murphy called Powder Puff. It is a volumizing powder for your hair. It's so bad. It's awful. It doesn't do anything. Made my hair look absolutely outrageously disgusting. If you like this, let me know in the comment section because I might be doing something wrong. But it is awful. Awful. But don't, you know, it may be brilliant. I just may be doing something wrong. Um, oh, and this one, final one here. Own Your Light, Becca. I mean, Becca should probably just think about only releasing highlighters from now on. Highlighters, they do very well, very, very well indeed. And this is a great one. It is a beautiful kind of pink with a rose gold in it. It is so beautiful. Is that even worth doing? I'll let you know in edit. Probably not. But it's really, uh, really spot on. It's really quite lovely. Uh, that's it. I believe that's it. Yes, that's it. <laughs> but if you don't buy anything else, I honestly think you should get my products because they're so good. I put a lot of time and effort into these. And there's a new one dropping soon, very, very soon in fact. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon, bye-bye.